Hello everyone and welcome to Monday Morning Motivation. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This next beatitude Jesus gave contains another wonderful promise that the kingdom of heaven will be given to all those who go through persecution because they stand for righteousness. Coming immediately after the promise to the peacemakers, this may seem almost contradictory. Surely, if I am seeking to live peaceably with everyone, who could possibly hate me for doing what's morally right? Wow. If only life was that simple, but it's not. And Jesus didn't seek to pull the wool over the eyes of his followers. He didn't say blessed are those who may be persecuted for righteousness sake, but blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. The reality is that there will always be those who dislike you because you are a follower of Christ. You don't even have to say you are a, a Christian. Just live a life that is marked by obedience to God's word and to his kingdom mandate and that's enough to have you marginalized and ostracized. Look at Jesus, or just ask the early church what that looked like. And let's not be mistaken that all they suffered is no longer for our times. Certainly some of the cruel practices like being thrown to the lions or, or being set on fire as flaming torches may no longer be tolerated in most quarters, but persecution still remains a very real and ever-present reality for all those who are willing to stand for Christ. Speak up for those who are being unjustly treated. Dare to take a stand for the side of truth in a world that constructs its own version of truth or be resolute in not running with the crowd or jumping on the same bandwagon when everyone else is calling it the in thing. And you can be sure that you will experience some form of persecution. Ask those who had to go through a legal battle in court simply because of their stance for righteousness. The voices of those who lost homes, reputation, and even their own lives because they served Jesus will speak until eternity. Those who have been subjected to bullying, taunts, ridicule, and even shamed for their Christian walk can tell you what persecution looks like. As a teenage girl who is taunted and ridiculed because she takes a stand for modesty in all things, especially in the way she dresses, Ask the young man who is insulted and avoided because he refuses to be like one of the boys sleeping with any and every female but instead chooses to keep himself pure for marriage. Ask the aspiring professional who never gets that deserved promotion or raise in pay because he lives by the principles of the word of God and refuses to take bribes or be dishonest. Or ask that family member who is treated as the outcast because they have broken tradition and done the unthinkable by following Jesus Christ. Persecution doesn't come in the same form every time, but that does not make it any less real. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 12 to 13 encourages us with these words. Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad, for these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering, so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. If you have partnered with Christ in his suffering, rejoice. Don't despair. I know that no persecution ever feels good. I know that none of us wants to go through persecution or, or any kind of thing like that. But if you are going through right now, or when you do go through, hold on to the marvelous promise that Jesus gave in the latter part of verse 10. The kingdom of heaven is yours. What does that mean? You have access to all the vastness of the kingdom, all its power, all its resources, the full weight and authority of its government, and more than all of that, the full attention and backing of the King of Kings himself. 
that alone shall make you rejoice. Understand this. When the soldier came, when the soldiers came to arrest Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, the same access that was his is very much yours now. He said, do you think that I cannot now pray to my father and he will provide me with more than 12 legions of, of, of angels? Had he wanted to, this was his right as a son. And as a joint heir with him, this is your right according to the father's will and purposes. You don't need to curl up in a ball or feel lower than a worm. You can truly count it all joy because you understand whose rulership you are under and who truly has got your back. According to his purposes and plans in your life, he may not take the situation away immediately, but you can still rejoice in the midst of it because you know that when it's all over, the story has only one ending and that has been established before the beginning of time. Jesus wins and because he wins, you win. So blessed, comforted by inner peace and God's love are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness for all the fullness of the kingdom of heaven is theirs. And we say amen to that. This has been Monday Morning Motivation. Join me again next Monday at 6 o'clock in the morning for another devotional. God bless you. Have a great week. <music>